I'm making this video as a special request. Someone recently asked me how one might use the multi-column string manipulation node. So I have this data set which I grabbed from Kego. I'm going to provide the link in the uh, description. So this data set has a bunch of facts about countries around the world. So you can see that it has some text-based data points such as the country name, country name long, currency, etc. So let's say we want to make all of the columns which are textual. Let's say we want to make all of them uh, uppercase. We can do that in one go using the multi-column. Multi, oops, get rid of that. String manipulation multi-column. How this works is it lets you select multiple columns to apply string functions. So we can see here we have some numerical columns. We only want to deal with the ones which are string. So I'm going to remove everything and then select the ones which are string. I'm just holding down control so I can select multiple. So I'm going to take those ones and I'm going to go down and find uh, there's some more string columns. There's a couple at the end. So there's this one. Okay, and then these last two. So what's going to happen now is any of the functions I apply here is going to apply to everything. See how here it says current column? Current column is a placeholder for all of these columns. So whatever I do is going to happen to all of the columns. So the current column is what goes in the parentheses of whatever function you select. So by, by that I mean, let's say I click on capitalize. I need to put the current column inside of the, inside of the parentheses. So it's going to capitalize every current column. So that's each of these columns. Each of them will be the current column and each of them is going to be capitalized. I just know that the capitalize actually the capitalize function only capitalizes the first word. It doesn't couple, it doesn't capitalize everything. So if you actually want everything to be capitalized, you want to use the uppercase one. So let's actually use that one instead. And very important, you have two options. You can either replace the columns that you have originally, or you can get new columns. By default, it tries to get new columns, but I can just replace the ones I already have. And I'll show you the difference, actually. Let me show you if I append as new. So I click on OK. And if I run it as append as new, you can see one that you have to scroll all the way down to see the transformations you've just made. So these are the new columns, and they're all in uppercase, whereas if I you don't have to scroll down to see those options. Whereas if I select replace and I click on OK, the original columns are going to be capital are going to be uh, transformed into uppercase. So this is way more efficient than doing them one by one with multiple string manipulation nodes. You can just do them all in one go. And of course, you can also you can also use multiple functions. So let's say we do uppercase and what might be a good one to use. Let's do a join. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just going to join something that doesn't really make sense. So first I'm going to uppercase it and then I'm going to join. So because I'm going to join after, I'm going to put the join function before the uppercase. So I'm going to join, I'm just going to join the word test. I'm going to put a space so there's a space so you can see it clearly. So first it's going to uppercase everything in all the columns and then it's going to add the word test to the end of each of those cells in all those columns. So I can you can use multiple functions in one go. Click on OK. And now we can see that the word test has been joined to every single cell in all of our columns. So this is a pretty efficient node to use. And if you go all the way down, you can see all of those nodes. These functions have been applied. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, there is there's a similar node on the math side. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It works the same way as this. So it is the multi-column, the math formula multi-column node, and it does a, a similar thing as a string manipulation, just for numerical nodes instead of string ones. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you have a really nice, cool week ahead. Thank you, and goodbye.